Kiani and welcome to my March favorites. We're right now in the middle of April and March was one of those amazing months that I really have to reflect on. I had so many amazing things that happened in the month of March and you know what? I'm not going to give a long intro. You know how I do. Grab something to drink, grab your notepad and let's get right into my March favorites. As I was saying, March has been one of those amazing months that I got a chance to do a little bit of traveling as it seems like I do every month. It was St. Patrick's as well as Easter, which meant I had two inspired holidays that I could really, really dive into amazing color. With St. Patrick's Day being all about the greens, I'm going to start with something really, really small. I started off the month with my Top Speed Nail Polish. This shade is called Jaded. It is from last year's Rub Line color line and I love this color. This served me very well on some photo shoots in the month of March as well as just to get me into that whole, you know, green thing. Next I have to talk about my Too Faced Romantic Eye Palette. Yes, I know this palette is no longer available to purchase but for those of you that have it, I really love the shade Honeymoon and it's just beautiful, gosh, jaded green shade, a shimmery green. Watch this. I pulled back out my artist palette. And wouldn't you know, the favorite shade in that was Anaconda. Swatch that. Mm -hmm. Green. I pulled out my Lorac Pro palette, the Mega 2. And wouldn't you know, the shade Forest. Mm -hmm. Green. And lastly, wouldn't you know, I pulled back out my Jackson Hill palette by Morphe and mm -hmm, this green right here. Stunning, stunning, stunning. More green. Yes. Hi, my name is Kiani and I am obsessed with green things. Hmm. <laughs> Moving on, and when I wasn't obsessed with green things, I went totally blank on eyes. I pulled back out my Too Faced Natural Matte Palette to the point that even my husband got a little tired of seeing me wear this. He was like, girl, can't you wear something else other than nothing on your eyes? And I was like, I'm wearing something, they're just browns. Yeah, the pendulum swept just like this from green to nothing, from green to nothing, and guess what? I'm cool with that. Staying in the eye realm, the lashes of the month that drove me absolutely insane were the Kiss number 11s, but I don't know. These right here, these are the Salon Purpose number 615. They might be giving the Kiss number 11 the money for the month of April. So we've talked about eyes thus far. I have to talk about the foundation of the month. That was my Milani. Conceal plus perfect two-in-one foundation. I was using the shade number seven and let me tell you guys I love that foundation. I love the coverage. I love the glow. I love the dewiness. I love the longevity Itself could possibly have my makeup on from seven to nine possibly and when I got home I put it on snapchat how my makeup was starting to break down right here. So I actually started putting on the Estee Lauder Matte Perfecting Primer. I started using a sample of this and wouldn't you know, I went all the way through it in the month of March just to make sure that this little area right here stayed nice and matte. So I've been in love with this. I'm definitely going to purchase a larger size. It really did the job. I'm actually wearing it right now. I've had this makeup on for quite a while today. I actually did the full foundation this morning and I just kind of glammed the eyes up a little bit this afternoon after clients for you guys so I could record this video. And you can see, no touch-ups needed. The makeup it actually wears spectacularly. So yeah, I definitely want to give a big shout out to my Estee Lauder Matte Primer and it really did the job. Next I have to talk about a brand that was sent to me as a gift. This is by Mama and this cute little gadget right here is actually all blotting towels. And what do you do? You open this little gadget here and you pull as many or as much of the oil blotting cloth off as you like and it's actually made of rice paper and I'm just going to see if I can get any oil from here and just show you guys it mends the makeup right back together and yeah it comes in a handy dandy 
little silhouette here that really looks like maybe the Hello Kitty version. And I just think it's spectacular. Very, very cute. And also say they sent me 25 or actually 50. These are the Finger Court Makeup Remover Cotton Pads. And I absolutely love these. I'm not going to waste one, but there's going to be a video coming out showing you guys why I love these so much. And it's also going to be a giveaway. So make sure you're following me on Snapchat. All the details will drop there first. And then they're going to drop on YouTube and then Instagram and so on and so forth. The giveaway is going to run about a week, week and a half. So if you're watching this video, you actually have a heads up. So good luck. Earlier, I talked about single colors of eyeshadows that I love from multiple different palettes. But I want to put in my Morphe 35N palette. This is my newest palette from Morphe. It was gifted to me. They sent me this palette to see what I could create. And you guys know that I am a stellar fan of all matte pads. Um, I just absolutely love the quality of the shadows. Look at how intensely that black comes out. I love shades like this, it's kind of a mustardy brown. This chocolate right here, absolutely insane. All the neutrals going across the top, so that transition area is nice and tight, girls. Yes, I have really been in love with this palette. And I have to say, I purchased the peanut butter and jelly palette just because there was so much hype going on about it. And whereas, mm, I love the scent of it. And I love how small and compact it is, but I found myself having a lack of creativity with it because the palette doesn't have as much intensity as I would like for it to have. So I would actually say if you're loving this palette, it is sold out in most areas. You can still buy it on Ulta.com. I purchased mine and I waited and waited and waited for it to get here. And once I got it, I was like, what? Not that thrill with it. This one right here knocks it completely out of the park. So for the same money, you're getting 35 colors versus nine. These are all matte. The shades are very intense. And this is giving you, you know, it's giving you color. I mean, just the quality that you would love from Too Faced. But at the same time, I think you're going to have just a very limited amount of creativity with this palette. I love it for what it is. But if I had to pick one over the other one, it would be this one. Sorry. But not sorry. Next, to make sure that I wasn't receiving any flashback and that my foundation was set very, very nice and very skin-like, I really stuck to my CoverGirl Queen collection. This is the Lasting Matte Press Powder in Golden Medium and Light. And let me tell you, this foundation powder or this powder is not sold everywhere. Again, I have been running into issues finding it, but look at this. This powder is unlike any other powder by CoverGirl, and I just love how it mattifies my makeup, but it gives a beautiful veil. So girls, if you are looking for a long wearing, lasting pressed powder, and you really don't want to spend the money on MAC Mineralized Skin Finish, CoverGirl. $9.87. I bought two of them this week. Buy one, get one half at my Walgreens. And you guys, I love these powders. I just really set my makeup all over my face with the light. And I do a light setting of my contour with the golden medium. Spectacular, spectacular, spectacular powder. I even went as far as trying to buy the CoverGirl Clean Collection Oil Control Press Powder because this is also stated to be matte. Mm -mm. Nope, doesn't work. But it does work right here in my part when I'm trying to make my wigs work. Mm -hmm. Next, I have to talk about this unit I'm wearing right here. This unit is called Lancy. It's from the It's a Wig Swiss Lace Collection. There will be all the details in the description box on this unit. They will release this week. This is one of the units that It's a Wig sent me. And you guys, this has been my favorite unit of the month. I can't stop wearing it. It takes heat very well. So anytime that it gets tangled and I just grab my little Annie um, 2105 brush and just come straight through the ends. Look at that. No shedding, no tangle too big. And it just really works well. I have been in love with this wire wig brush 
as well as this unit right here. I love that it's straight. I love the ombre. I love the rooting. I love how seamless it matches to my scalp. I love everything about this unit. So again, all the product details will be in the description box. It comes in so many different colors and that's all I'm going to say about it. But this has been my unit for the month of March. And lastly, with all my videos, I try to show you girls my lippies that I've been in love with. Of course, those of you that want my Jordana Sweet Cream Liquid Lipstick, if you are wanting to know what are my favorite shades out of that line, I fell in love with again and again and again the Creme Brulee. This is what it looks like. Again, there will be a link in the description box on a full video of these looks or of these colors. And the other shade is the Mixed Berry Souffle. Really all the colors that I have, I love them, but these are the ones that I wore the most. I did top them off with my Anastasia of Beverly Hills Dainty Lip Gloss. So I'll swatch it right here. This was a great lip gloss for me to apply with my lips just really felt like they were battered and bruised. And of course, when I could take a little bit more dryness, I would use the color that I'm wearing right now was the Ellie Girl um, Flat finished pigment gloss and this shade is called Fleur. And lastly, as a topper for that color, I stuck with my Myth. And those were the five shades that got me through the month of March. So there you have my March favorites. I'm hoping you guys enjoyed this video. I'm hoping that you found some things that you like and you know what? If there were some products that I didn't detail here, it's possibly that I don't know about it. So make sure you comment down below on your favorite products of the month of March as well. You guys know that I love to connect with you and I love when you share your favorite products with me. So of course, it's possible next month I'll be highlighting one of your favorites. So make sure you comment down below. Make sure that you also follow me on Snapchat and all my other social medias. I have started to do almost daily product reviews, so make sure that you don't miss that. And of course, if you have not already subscribed to my channel, click that subscribe button. It's free. Until next time, guys, thanks so much for watching. Hugs and kisses. We'll talk to you soon. Bye.